Governor John Bell Edwards visits Shreveport today for an important announcement. NBC 6's Maddie Weiris brings us more on this big news in tonight's Money Matters report. Maddie? American Electric Power is building a new transmission control center right here in Shreveport, and you may be wondering, what is that exactly? Well, the facility will oversee the reliability of the electric grid for seven companies all the way from Canada down to the Gulf of Mexico. And this comes as we approach the one year anniversary of the winter storm, which showed us just how vital these power grids are. This is going to be transformative. After another multi million dollar investment in Northwest Louisiana. What we've seen in the past is that the facility AEP is building will be a magnet for others who want to locate and make sure that they have access to that fiber uh, and to reliable electricity. American Electric Power says it will create a domino effect for other large businesses to invest in Shreveport. Because when this facility goes in and being the first tenant of this park, the infrastructure that's provided, particularly the electric service, but also the fiber optic communications is a big draw for other businesses that want to locate in this area. Creating this industrial park will also bring in 83 new jobs. These aren't just everyday jobs. These are high quality, high paying, knowledge-based jobs that we can use to continue to expand our economy beyond our traditional roles in energy, banking, uh, agriculture, and healthcare. So it'll be great to use this as a catalyst to continue to grow our, our economic development picture and our knowledge-based economy. And it helps that the CEO of AEP is from Bossier. It's very gratifying because you know the level of investment that's being made and what it can do for the community. The disastrous winter storm last February highlighted the need for more resilience in making sure electrical grids don't fail. Particularly at times like this, we don't know what the weather is going to do at any particular time. The cold weather, heating goes up, uh, people use more electricity, and we've got to be able to respond uh, in a credible fashion. And this is one of the facilities that is instrumental for us to be able to do that. Construction will begin over the next few months, and AEP is hoping to start operations by the middle of 2023. Back to you. Welcome aboard. Happy to have them. Maddie, thank you. Continuing.